there is something we need It's a leap of faith Oh, if you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there This walk starts in the small Lake District town of Ulverston. Ulverston is a fine market town in the centre of the Furness Peninsula, with old buildings and a labyrinth of cobbled streets, and is the start of the 70 mile Cumbrian Way. It is the birthplace of Stan Laurel, and home to the world's only Laurel and Hardy Museum. It has the world's shortest, widest and deepest canal and is just a mile and a half from the sea at Morecambe Bay. Ulverson became a market town in 1280, when a royal charter was granted by Edward I, an event celebrated every September with the Charter Festival. In the mid-1660s, it became a centre of religious activity when George Fox, founder of the Quakers' movement, lived for a time at Swarthmore Hall. But the main site at Ulverson is probably Hode Monument. Hode Monument, or Sir John Barrow Monument as its proper name, is a 100 foot tower at the top of Hode Hill, to the northeast of Ulverson in the Furness area. Paid for mainly by public subscription, the monument was erected in 1850 at a cost of £1,250. It commemorates Sir John Barrow who was born in Ulverston in 1764. Sir John was a founder member of the Royal Geographical Society and held various government posts in the 19th century, becoming the second secretary to the Admiralty. The monument is not a lighthouse and has never had a functional light. However, it was designed to resemble one and is similar to the third Eddiston lighthouse, also known as Smeaton's Tower. It's a Grade 2 listed building, meaning that it is of more than local interest, and the monument stands as one of the iconic symbols of the northwest of England. It is built of limestone quarried locally at Birkfrigg Common. Due to its elevated and exposed position, it is one of the more prominent landmarks in Cumbria. The hollow tower can be ascended via a spiral staircase of 112 steps. At the top, Eight apertures provide a 360-degree panorama of the Furness Peninsula, Morecambe Bay and the Southern Lake District. In recent times, the formerly open apertures have been glazed. Sometimes simply known as Hode, the tower is occasionally referred to as the Pepper Pot. The epithet was famously used by Lord Haw Haw during one of his propaganda campaigns of World War II when he warned the residents of Ulverson that the German Air Force would bomb their pepper pot. Hood Monument is normally open during the summer months when a flag is flying outside the monument. Ulverson Towns Lands Trust owns both the monument and Hood Hill. From the top are breathtaking panoramic views of Morecambe Bay and the Lake District Fells and also the nearby Drood Circle at Birkrigg Common. In 2009, the monument underwent a 1.2 million restoration. The majority of the funding came in the form of an £891,000 grant from the Heritage Lottery Fund, with the Friends of Sir John Barrow Monument collecting grants and donations for the rest. The restoration included a series of structural improvements to make the monument watertight, the most noticeable of these being the addition of a copper roof covering the stone dome, which was itself removed and rebuilt. The official opening was on Sunday the 22nd of August 2010, and was marked by a gala at Ford Park, barn dance and a firework display. Mm -hmm.